Pipe Network presents. In this episode, we are going to talk about agnosticism and a deep dive into it. Even more better than the first episode that I did. So, let's go. Hey folks, welcome back to the Rajiv Show. My name is Rajiv Doreswami and in this show we talk about motivation, philosophy and journaling, not in that particular order. Before we get into the meat and bones of this episode, we're going to I'm going to talk about of course the newsletter if you want to stay in touch and you want to stay updated to the new latest updates. Join my newsletter, guys. It's free. You don't need to there's no payment and all that stuff. And um, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button if you agree with some certain points in this episode. And um, if you're watching this on Spotify, kudos to you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. So let's get into this episode, Agnostic Deep Dive. This is a part two of the first episode. I'm going to leave the link above here. And um, in this episode, we are going to talk about what is exactly my take on agnosticism and uh, what is what is my version of it how do i live life basically it's going to be a deep dive of the questions that you probably have from the first episode that of course i missed out but first i'm just going to pull up the definition of agnosticism here Uh, I'm taking this from Merriam-Webster's. I'm citing my source. Of course, an agnostic is a person who holds the view that ultimate uh, I, that any ultimate reality, such as God, is unknown and probably knowable. So let me simplify this for you. If you are in a farm in between two ideologies or two animals. and you love both animals let's say a cow or a chicken or anything that's up to you and there's a big fence in between them that is the defini- and you're sitting on that fence that is the definition of ag- to my my knowledge that's the definition of being an agnostic so of course the follow up question to that is what if if um I believe in some idea or some deity. How do I live with myself? <laughs> of course, that is the question that everybody would love to answer. I mean, uh being an agnostic ever since I've become an agnostic gave me some form of understanding and the difference of being uh humanistic in some way because I get to peel back the curtain from the belief of being a christian and of course i have met a lot of people who believe in other religions i've already explained in the previous episode i've met a lot of people from different cultures different backgrounds so i cannot disregard one over the other because one is if i do that it will be considered condemning from my understanding of it and back when i was a christian i often found the guilt of trying to convert someone to believe in something uh, without me doubting it or without questioning it it's it's kind of weird and um yeah and that was kind of my impression of what christianity was and how i used to live my life because i often ask these questions but my defense mechanism back then was in my head how do i convert this person who believed in such and such ideology into what i believe in so it's kind of more subjective of my belief and integrating and, and i didn't really like that once i started growing old and started understanding that something was unfair and unjust <clears throat> and then i took a step back and then i understood that something was wrong i had to fix it or not i had to question it so that is where the beginning of being an agnostic for me meant a lot because um 
if you don't question anything in life, then the value of living is not it's not worth living. Because I, as I said it in the previous episode, you cannot depend on one answer alone. If I ask you how many times can you count up to 10 in terms of adding, there are multiple ways. You have addition, you have multiplication, you have division, you have subtraction, and you have all sorts of stuff. So understanding different viewpoints can make you realize that there is some sort of value in other, other teachings as well prior to what you know. So living life thinking you know it all and thinking that you are righteous above everybody, that's, that's not the way I want to live life. I know it's a long answer to how do I live. It's just kind of weird. So that's my deep take into this new reality that I've lived in. I, I don't feel guilt. If you ask me, I am far more inquisitive and I ask more deeper questions. And it, it, it's always an ongoing debate. And the debate never ends when it comes to trying to prove a point from... Uh, I've seen online debates between atheism and, and Muslims and atheism and Christians because, like I said in the previous episode, it's too sensationalized that just because one person believes in one ideology, they have the right to win an argument over understanding and having a conversation without the need for proving that you're winning. So yeah, I, I don't really feel the guilt. I mean, people try to guilt trip me, <laughs> which is weird. People try to guilt trip me in saying that, I'm going to hell. And um, I, I want to open that conversation about debt in some other episode because that's also going to be an interesting one. But my reality of it is that uh, I want to take this from a quote from my sister is that you live in this, you have this opportunity to live in the now. You might as well make the best of it because you may never get it back. So, yeah. And yeah, that's uh, my take on uh, being agnostic. I know, again, it's all over the place. I cannot put timestamps in any of my episodes because I'm always all over the place. And yeah, I hope I've answered some few questions. Uh, I, I don't know what I'm going to drop as a question, but if I think of a question, I'll drop them in the Spotify and, of course, on the YouTube pin comments. So um, yeah, that's... That's the point of being an agnostic, understanding that it being being in the middle of the fence doesn't hurt much because you get to see who above you you get to see who is unrealistic about their expect their subjective expectation of their reality versus someone who is trying to just be humanistic in in their own belief and their own core value so yeah this is a very very deep uh, conversation and i mean this is a very deep monologue that I've, i'm taking this is by far to me this is one of the uh, most exciting episode that i've ever wanted to talk about because at first when i started the episode one i had the impression that i might offend a lot of people but then I realized that belief is subjective and what works for you may not work for me. What works for Jack doesn't work, work for Rose. So it is subjective and that's the beauty of life that we all have different perspectives and we have different versions of our truths and our realities. So yeah, it's it's an interesting conversation. I mean, I'd love to have a guest over and see how saying I don't want to open a debate because I don't want to sensationalize it. But if I'm open to a conversation, a debate wise, I'm I don't want to convert anyone into what I believe in because, like I said, it is subjective. What I see in my perspective is not what others 
see in their perspective. So it's a little bit of it's a mixture of both worlds. So yeah, oh yeah. Before I forget, um, the, there's a difference between agnosticism and atheist. <clears throat> uh, I wrote it down in my show notes. I completely forgot about it. But um, like I said, the farm being sitting on the fence in between two animals that you love the most. That is agnosticism. But if uh, the way I see atheism, atheism is the ideology that we uh, we come from nothing. And it's an it's an interesting philosophy. I mean, I don't doubt that atheists. There are certain atheists who have the ability to express themselves, knowing what they're defending is really truthful to them and. If you really have a conversation with someone who is non-debative, uh, I don't know if that's a word, not, doesn't really want to debate but has an intellectual take, you'll have an understanding of what makes an atheist an atheist. I don't never really subscribe to things, although I've had a conversation with a couple of atheists and I came to understand that that's their belief. Well, be 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 on your way because as long as your ideology doesn't hurt me and I don't hurt your ideology we're square there's there's nothing wrong in any any of our things ideologies as long as there's no conflict there's no um, misunderstanding so yeah so um, that is the episode on a deep dive into agnosticism again if I missed out leave your questions and I'll make an episode on it and um, if you like this episode thumbs up all the way with that in mind cheers folks and I will see you in the next episode on the next episode of the Rajiv show is the challenge because if you're a person who doesn't learn to grow in a relationship then you're not really meant for a relationship you know that that's the thing that that saddens me but if you're a person who is willing to submit to your own words like I say your loyalty to your own words learn to also challenge yourself to grow because it's all about growing together because a relationship is not all about one side it's not a one side that's considered a toxic relationship but yeah learn to grow with the person and um, yeah it, it, it's 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 more of give and take and it's they, they say that relationship is all about balance